Thank you for joining us tonight on Fox 40 News. Tonight we begin with a celebration, a celebration of life, the life of David Fillers. Fox 40's Grace Guy shares with us the memories that David has left behind. It's been almost two weeks since David Filler's body was found in a creek bed behind the Quality Inn in Vestal. But friends say instead of focusing on the 21-year-old's death, they want to celebrate his life. He would want people to remember him in this light rather than the other, you know, and how it happened. This is much happier time for everybody. The day they found out David had passed away, a group of close friends and neighbors got together to think of a special way to honor the Shenango Valley graduate. We're just talking about what we could do for the family, decided to have a benefit. The House of Reardon in Binghamton was packed with people listening to music, eating, drinking, and just having a good time, which friends say is exactly what David would want. One of the funniest guys you'd ever meet. I mean, just such a nice, honorable man. Friends were amazed by how many people came out to support David and his family. It's really something special right now that you know, everybody is just it's touching all of our hearts. It really is. People were asked to donate $10 at the door for a cause that will ensure David's generosity will live on. I'm going to make a scholarship uh, for Shenango Valley student, uh, who whatever student may be going into the engineering field. 22-year-old Alan Outman, who was a former classmate of David's, was arrested on January 4th for second-degree murder, but police have still not to close details of the alleged killing or a possible motive. The tragedy and uncertainty surrounding it makes it a tough time for friends, but they say it's important for them to show their support for David's family. I just want his family to know we're all here for him. Friends say the benefit is a way to keep David's legacy alive by continuing to touch the lives of others with laughter and kindness. In Binghamton, Grace Guy, Fox 40 News.